and welcome to my daily blog of usually life on a beef and arable farm but today we're in Newquay I was out there in the colonial bar last night having a couple of pints it was absolutely lovely but we're going to the Royal Cornwall show um, with Bristol Street Motors so we'll uh, head over there now and check out the rest of the video thanks for watching all this traffic's not looking promising when I'm seven miles away this car though silence no engine running Full electric Bushka. See what though, Cornwall is beautiful. Yeah, it's really nice. So we're off road now in the X Trail. I mean, it's not exactly like off road, it's just a bit of a track, but I'll tell you what, it's, it's handling it nice. It's relatively quiet. But anyway, we're here. That's the main thing. We're here. That's it, we're here. Just get to the gates and find uh, somebody with a ticket. Just got into the show. Joss has come to the rescue and fetched me a ticket. Business. Um, and yeah, looks like we've come to the right end because it's full of tractors. What an absolute weapon of a digger there. Huge. Bateman stuff there, Kubotas. Big trailers. Uh, Joss did give me some specific instructions to go to the north gate or the main gate. And where did I go to? The south one. It's a long walk, we'll be all right. It's nice, it's sunny, it's not raining. Finally made it to the Bristol Street Motors stand. Um, look at this beast. Why didn't I get this to come down in? An M Sport or is it an M3? I don't know. Andy would like this, I know that much. <laughs> We've got a racing simulator on here as well. Down there. I'm just with these guys from Cornwall Live. Uh, we're going to do a Facebook Live as well in a second. So, exactly. there we go. Professional. Look at this. This is professional, eh? Oh, yeah. Look at me, no, unprofessional here, but. It yeah. makes it professional. Yeah. <laughs> what, the broken. Plenty of cars on the stand today. Hey, this looks nice, doesn't it, eh? There are lots of dafts on show here. Nice. Yeah, it really is uh, a massive show of dafts. Volvo's here, we've got man. Jeez, it's a big show this, you know. A little bit later, uh, me and Joss are going to be getting in a new Defender, taking it into the main ring, and having a quad bike jump over the top of it while fireworks are fired from behind. Joss was asking me if I got life insurance. I probably ought to ring Becky and uh, just, just tell her to top it up. She'll be like, bringing the ATV guy, telling him to crash into it. <laughs> But yeah, no, so um, that should be fun. Check that out a little bit later. The Scanny is in as well. Look at that beast. We've got a radio interview to uh, to run to, but I cannot get that in. That is an absolute weapon. Bumped into JM Farming. Your local show, is it? That's sort of. Across the border. Oh, is there a bit of rivalry between you? They do their scones the wrong way down here. <laughs> <laughs> so we set some off there. We set, I've heard this before. But, um, yeah, nice to meet you. Yeah, you too. Yeah. Come and have a see us at Bristol Street. Yeah, Road we will do. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool. Brilliant. Joss is major stressed here. Um, we're looking for Rewind Radio. Try and find them to do an interview, but the number we've got doesn't correspond with where where we need to be. Finally found it in among the hot tubs. Was it a local? We're going to be doing an interview with Andrew. Hey and guys, Rewind Radio. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> always How long has this been with them, Rewind Radio? Uh, we've just celebrated our second birthday on Wednesday. Oh, nice. Yeah. And they've got all the hot tubs out front. Mm -hmm. I have yeah. actually brought my swim shorts. Have you? Yeah. Oh, we'll have to get you in one then. Maybe Definitely. a bit later. <laughs> <laughs> right, we'll get this over and done with anyway. Thank Let's you. Do Thought I'd come and have a look at the Teagle stand, seeing as we're here. Now, Andy wants me to ask them a few questions. getting excited if he comes on here um, tomorrow because he's at the show tomorrow having a look at these but they haven't got the uh, the twin beater here but we've got a test machine on the stand today yeah. Yeah. with a stop mechanism so the idea is if you see these metal parts are here this comes down and forward and stops the bale from actually getting to the beater so that you, stops the straw flow straight away a little bit different different colored wheels sides a little bit different 
We're saying that the mounted and the trailed are the same machine, just one's got a, an axle on it. But yeah, it's uh, hmm, interesting. Thanks to Paul who showed me around this new machine. Yes, Looks the 800 range. Yeah, yeah, only one for us. So uh, a couple of months away from seeing production yet, but we could have a uh, chance to show you around. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Might get one of them in yard one day. Yeah, we'll yeah. see what we can do. <laughs> Brilliant, <laughs> cheers. Nice one, check that. 2850 for that. Little robot. Remember Robot Wars? Some little stuff here. Super robot, man. Aging bull crushers. These are supposed to be really well built stuff. Yeah, beast. Jeez, that is some edge cutter, isn't it? Some weight in that. Spread a bale here. So it looks like we've got BBC Cornwall here. So we'll be doing an interview with them in a minute. With James here from BBC Radio Cornwall, <laughs> and uh, we're going to do an interview. So we've already done one with Rewind Radio. Now we're with the BBC. There you go. And Welsh Joss, Cornwall <laughs> oh, Live, Cornwall wasn't live. it? Sorry, he's my supposed to know all this. You know, he's the man. I'm sorry. Sorry. <laughs> so right, we're going to fire away anyway. Now, um, me, Joss, and sorry, I forgot the other guy's name. I go in into the main arena in a Land Rover Defender, and a quad bike is going to jump over the top of us. Yep. This is the beast that we're going to do it in. My next car, Joss. Oh. oh. In now, we've got George, the stunt driver, <laughs> off for today. <laughs> and Joss is in. Oh no, he's not in the back. He is getting. Oh, he's, he's waving he's us out. Yeah, yeah it's safety first, yeah. This guy's getting out of the way. Off we go. Trying to get through the sea of people. Oh, well, here we go. So one of them is going to jump up at top of us at some point. Yep. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Stop here. Can we back up a bit? Yeah, a little bit. the main ring and that quad bike there is going to jump over this defender we're going to be still sat in it it's parked in front uh i mean if he sort of misses he's going to run into the front of the, the side of the van and then why no, is this why you're sat in the back <laughs> hey <Safety spare>. <laughs> <laughs> so like fireworks that go off um off we are right in the middle of it here <laughs> there's people everywhere that gives a good view oh yeah jeez <laughs> we just done all that uh, Joss said there's a massive build up, don't worry, he goes to the top of the ramp and then he like back off and all this boom straight over, no messing, fireworks gone off. It was a bit scary really wasn't it? Stuntman. It was very scary. <laughs> yeah it terrified me. <laughs> Christ. It's over and done with now, at least. Look at these guys landing in. Me and Joss now are just about to do the interview time. Look, he's got proper mic and everything. So, um, hope there's a few of you uh, in the background there watching. Yay! <laughs> it's time to get a cider, seeing as we're in Cornwall, and a burger. Really nice uh, strawberry cider down here. It's lovely. We've just been having a few ciders in Cornwall, and we've met Joss's uh, Flag lord, as we should say, around this end. Hi too. What's what's his name locally? Big man. Big sweat box. We don't know where that's come from, but that seems to be the name. We do know. <laughs> well, the guys and girls. Could we have the judges to the boards, please, for the open fight? Matt Smith there. Cheering him away. Cheering him away. Pirates joining the party as well. In goes Matt Smith. In goes Stuart Connor. There's nothing between these two men there. We've got a previous English champion there in Matt Smith. We've got our current English champion there. in Stuart Connor. There's a great view from XL Agri. Yeah, with these guys. <laughs> Come and check them out. Let's go, 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 let's
low time for Rollinson, long low time for Stuart Fuller. Give them a cheer, lady. Have a quick look around the uh, cattle lines down here. Very nice effort there. The British Blues. So I bumped into Farmer Jim Bob down at uh, Royal Cornwall and um, his yearling bulls won first prize. You must be happy with that. Yeah, absolutely delighted. Yeah, yeah no, he's, he's, he's done all right to be fair. And the heifers both come third in, in strong classes as well. Um, yeah, so no, we've had, we've had a, good, a good couple of days. Good. Um, no, no thoughts of moving back to Angus? Eh? No, definitely not. No, he's out wide Angus all, all day long. <laughs> That's my thoughts on it. Anyway. That's his thoughts on it. Yeah. He's, he's a South Devon. Uh, yeah, I'm a South Devon, South Devon man through and through. You won't, you won't, change you won't pull, pull him away from no, them. No. But no, they look good. Yeah, look fantastic. I feel like I've been at the show all day and um, not really seen anything yet. So I'm heading over towards the machinery section because we've got to see some big diggers and stuff. So um, we'll go and check out and see what they're like. So that's quite uh, unique the water fountain. On a lorry? Anyone ever seen one of them before? The flash fast track with the wine quip sprayer on. Oh, lots of deers on here. Big ATAR 410. Oh, I wouldn't expect them round here. Mikhail Mower. Um, we nearly bought one of them um, as opposed to the class. It was a close call. Oh, check this out. The M420S in black. What a beast. Eh? Is that, that what we ought to be getting? What a weapon. What colour we ought to have a new TM320S in black? Do you reckon JCB would do that for us? Do you like it like that or do you prefer the yellow? There's the yellow one. And the black one. I don't know. What do you reckon? I think it looks neat. But here we have the class stand. I think that Ollie was on yesterday. With the Range Rover convoy vehicle. Making his way through. Hamblers. We've got the Viedemann on here. We uh, really liked the Viedemann that we had on demo four or five years ago. It was a little thing, probably similar to this. Loads of power, really quick. And um, yeah, did a good job. I also got vultures and fence on this uh, stand. On here they've got a yellow TM420S. Right? That beast. So black or yellow, what do you reckon? Dream, the Unimogs. The family Unimog. What a beast. Hmm? It's who? <laughs> New Holland looks a beast. To them lads, and they said the grassmen um, stand was round here. So I thought, oh, I wonder where that is. And then I walked up this aisle. Could be there, maybe. It's a nice Scania they've got in it. What a beast. Some nice tractors on their stand. Well, the show's quietening down a little bit now. Um, I'm going to head back to the virtual stand because I've got my stuff in the back of there and then uh, head back to Cornwall, get some uh, Cornwall, I'm still in Cornwall. Um, see how tired I am, this hot weather has just uh, took it out of me. Um, yeah, head back to Newquay and um, get some sleep and then I think set off real early in the morning. But um, I thought I'd just take a quick look at some of these. Beautiful cars as I got on the stand here. Range Rover Sport, is it? Defender? Nice. Um, anyway, I hope you've liked this uh, today's video. Uh, if you have, press the like button, uh, subscribe if you're not already. And we'll see you back tomorrow when I'll be driving up back home and then getting back to normal farming business. So thanks for watching everyone and we'll see you in the next one. Bye. Bad the touring car jumped over by a quad bike and It's got dust on it. Rolling now. It's rolling. What are you going to say? Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> Try to do it again. Ron, one more. I'll give you a three, two, one. Three, two, one. Good morning. morning. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>